fix Bluetooth not appearing in device manager on Windows 11 or 10. BT missing. Welcome to today's video guys. If you are facing the frustrating issue where Bluetooth is not showing up in the device manager on Windows 10 or 11, before we get into the solutions guys, let's first talk about what causes this issue. When you can't find the Bluetooth in the device manager, it can be due to a number of reasons. Sometimes it's a issue with drivers, or the other times the settings they can be changed, or even a problem with the Windows itself. So whatever this case may be, you need to troubleshoot a few things to resolve the issue. So let's start it. So the first thing you need to do is to check your Bluetooth drivers, okay? A common reason Bluetooth isn't showing up up is due to outdated drives or missing drives. So here's how to check and update it. First of all, you're gonna click Windows and go on Device Manager. Gonna click on the first option and right here, guys, we are going to look for the option called Network Adapters. Usually here on the network adapters, it can't be written um, Bluetooth itself. It can be hidden by something called Railtech or something like that. It's like a driver specifically for the network, you know. So for me, it's the Realtek. You go with the right button, go on update the drive. And here you be two options: search automatically for drives, the first option, and search um, drives and my computer. You're gonna click on the first options, then you're going to click search for drives updated in the Windows. Here in Windows Update, you're going to check check for updates. It's showing a uh, update for do for for us to make the accumulative update for Windows 11 version. You just click on the load and then it will be downloaded. After that, you can check if the you, your Windows, your, if your if your Bluetooth is showing up. The second step, guys, is run the Windows troubleshooter. If your Windows is not showing up, if your Bluetooth actually is not showing up as well, let's try running the Windows troubleshooter, okay? Windows has a built-in tool that can automatically detect and fix common problems, including Bluetooth issues. So you're gonna have to press Windows plus I to open the settings app. Then you're going to navigate to system. Okay, go down below and go on trouble. Click on troubleshoot and go on other troubleshooters. When you click in other troubleshooters, you go in here on order and click on Bluetooth and go on run. Windows now try to find any problems related to Bluetooth and fix them automatically. If it finds the issue, Follow on the screen instructions to resolve it. And once that's done, restart your computer or laptop and check again if the Bluetooth shows up in device manager. Step number three, guys, is check for Bluetooth service. So now let's check if the necessary Bluetooth services are running. If they aren't, your Bluetooth might not show up. So press Windows plus R to open the run dialog and here you're going to type services point dot msc service dot msc that will be in the description just for to copy and pass okay click enter and right here guys what you're going to do is on um, search for bluetooth support device bluetooth support service actually click on the right button go on properties and here you can go on automatic click start and then click apply and OK. Now you can restart your computer, laptop and check if the device manager again to see if the, the Bluetooth is appearing. The step number four guys is reinstall the Bluetooth drivers. If all else fails, the next step is to reinstall your Bluetooth drivers completely. So this can often fix deeper issues than updated the drives might not resolve. So open the device manager again and here on the device manager, we are going to look for the network adapters again. And like I said, for me, it's not showing up exactly like like Bluetooth, but for you can can show up. And if that show up for you, you're going to click the right button and go on install device. When you uninstall device, 
just restart your computer. And after the reboot, the Windows should automatically attempt to reinstall the Bluetooth drivers. If it doesn't, go ahead and manually download and install the latest driver from your computer or laptop, okay, on the Bluetooth manufacturer's website. It's very simple, very simple, really. The step number five, guys, is use the show hidden device option. Sometimes the Bluetooth device are hidden from the device manager and you won't see them unless you change a specific setting. So here's how to hide the hidden device. First of all, let's open again the device manager. And right here in view, we are going to click it and now you're going to click on show hidden devices. When you click and show hidden device, all the devices that are connected to your computer that are hidden will show up. So you can, as you can see, it's showing up the software components, the system devices, and, and etc. Okay, probably you show up the the Bluetooth option on the network adapters, like I say, on the first time. Okay, for me, it showed up other stuff as I, as I say in the first beginning um, my computer it's a computer it's a it's a it's a table computer so the device of the bluetooth is already implanted on the rail tech on the motherboard so for me it's the device it's it's this one right here it's the rail tech right here but for you probably it can be um one drive itself if you are using a laptop or something like that okay the step number six, guys, is use the command prompt to reset the Bluetooth stack. Okay, a more advanced solution is to reset in this way. This can fix some underlying issues with the Bluetooth connection. Press Windows and type Windows Power Shell. Click with the right button and run as administrator. Okay, here you're going to type the following. N A T C F G space slash D. Press enter. And now reboot your computer once the command finishes. And check if the Bluetooth appears in the device manager. Okay. The step number seven, guys, is disable and re enable Bluetooth adapter in the device manager. Sometimes simple disable and then enable the Bluetooth adapter can fix the issue. And here is how. You're going to click on the Windows, go on Explorer itself, go here on this PC, click with the right button, go on Properties, and here you can go on the Bluetooth and Devices. Here you're going to click on Devices, and here you can see a lot of the Bluetooth connections, okay? You can go on the Bluetooth one and go on remove. Then just go on the physical way and plug and unplug your device Bluetooth, okay? And check if now it's working. If you've tried everything and Bluetooth is, is still showing up in your computer, it might be worth reaching out on a device supporting for a deep diagnosis. Alternatively, you can take your laptop or desktop to a certified technician for further inspection. And there you have it, 11, and there you have it, a lot of steps and different steps to fix Bluetooth and not appear in device manager on Windows 10 and 11. Hopefully by now your Bluetooth is up and running and appearing where it should be. But hey, if you've tried everything and you're still facing issues, don't stress out, you can always reach out to me through the contact details on the description and I'll help you resolve the problem personally. Thank you for watching and don't forget to leave a like, subscription, leave a comment if you resolve your issue, if not, comment as well that I can bring another solution for you guys. See you in the next video and I see you.